3D sketching is incredibly powerful in Fusion 360, and it's great for some things like this or this. So let's jump into doing this go-kart frame in Fusion. What are your strategies to build the frame? Well, to do this design, I think I would do it with a mirror. I'm gonna do half of it. And pretty much all of this, I'm gonna use a 3D sketch to create this shape. And for doing the actual tubing, I'm gonna use a pipe command. Getting started, I'll select sketch. I'm gonna select the top plane. It doesn't really matter what you select first. You can reorient if you need to. And I'm gonna make sure that 3D sketch is checked. Choosing the line command, I'll start at the origin and I'm gonna go down this axis. And this is only half of the build. Let me make sure the units make, make sense. We're not gonna worry about units so much in this example. It's more about getting the sketch correct. Working in isometric view is probably one of the best things you can do, but it is helpful to kind of look straight at or normal to your sketch or 3D sketch sometimes to reorient yourself. I'm gonna sketch at this endpoint and go out along this axis. Hitting escape, that'll let me close off that sketch but keep me in the command so I can keep working. We can drop in a dimension. This is three feet. Great. Now, here's the tricky part. I need to go up and out. Looking at this build, so you can see at this corner, I, I have a rounded edge, which I'm gonna use a fillet to get that rounded area. These are two fillets, but I need to come out and up. So I've got um, some complexity there. So my favorite way to do it is to use construction geometry. So I'm gonna go out a distance and then a depth of some distance and then up. And all of this is construction. If you use X for construction or just right click on it, you can make these construction. These are just guides. This helped us get this point in space. Now what we're gonna do is a solid line between these two points. So how do you round those sharp edges? So in the 3D sketch, you actually can use the sketch fillet. Come in, either select the two lines and then type in the radius value that you'd like to have. I don't have the, this finished yet, so once I do, I can add the fillet in. Now, selecting the line command, coming to this edge, I'm gonna use this axis and run it back. And then I'm gonna come over. Now here's what's difficult with Fusion 360 is you can't actually go to a plane. Even though I have a plane right here, it should work, it does not, it's a bummer. So the best workaround I've found is to use sketch geometry somewhere else. So what I can do is come to my origin and use this plane to sketch a kind of guide. So I make sure that this plane is selected that's highlighted in blue. I sketch out this rectangle as my guide. This is construction geometry, so I probably should have done it before I dropped it, or I can change it after the fact. So I have this construction, and what now what I wanna do is drag this point until it connects. If I look straight at it, it looks like they, they should basically line up. One thing that 3D sketching is not good at is dragging. Once you drag a line or place a line, it won't drag. It still will use constraints, which is good, but dragging doesn't work. So it's not as forgiving as 2D sketching can be. So I'm going to make those coincident. Sometimes when I'm using constraints in 3D sketching, everything just goes nuts. So that is something to be aware of. Whenever you add a constraint and move everything, make check that your sketch didn't get completely out of line or completely out of the design that you intend. Okay, so I have some sharp corners here. We'll go up to our fillet and fillet this corner to here. I'm gonna round off from there to there. Add these relationships that you might be missing. You can go in and add some dimensions if you need to, if you, to fully define as you can. I can dimension these construction lines that are guides actually a good idea. Make it easier to edit in the future. 
Okay, checking in, looks good. We've got kind of that half done. And now we need to do this interior where we, we would place our seat and steering wheel. Okay, adding some more geometry. We could separate this into a few 3D sketches for simplicity, or we can continue to work in the same 3D sketch. When I go to sketch, I'm gonna select on this line and then I'm gonna make sure that this little reference plane is selected. So that's the one that I care about sketching along. Go out this axis here. Okay, so we're going out and now we're gonna go up. I'm gonna go along the blue axis I'm going up the blue axis. And this is where I'm using reference geometry. So this is gonna be, I wanna go up a certain distance and then over and back. So I'm gonna come here and use along the axis, go over and then I wanna go back. And this is construction geometry. And this is that 3D jog that I want it to make. So I'm coming from this point up to this point. So that's how we create kind of some of that complexity. I'm using this rise and then this run and then this jog so that I can get this complex shape developed. Now the same challenge, I want this to run all the way to the half or to the where that plane would be even with. So I will add that sketch geometry over here as a reference. So I'm gonna select rectangle, it's construction. I'll do it on this plane, the origin. There we go, looks pretty good. And I'm gonna use the right view so that I can kind of line these up. And now I can jog this seat, the top of the seat over to this point. Make sure that it's solid line, because it's actual geometry, and then I can come back with my fillets. Select the fillet, select the blue, there we go. Now for doing the front part that's going to house the steering wheel. This arc is probably going to be tricky because anytime you try to mirror a complete arc, it can be problematic. I found that sometimes it's better just to go ahead and do the full arc and then mirror over it, uh, completing it, as opposed to trying to do it in halves. So let's do that now. Starting the sketch, I'm gonna sketch kind of coming in here, going down along this axis. And same challenge, I'm gonna come up and do construction lines. I need to go kind of up and out. So I need it to go out, up, and over. And that's where I'm gonna to sketch to for my solids. Go to my line command, make sure it's in solid line. I'm gonna go point to point. And that's how I create that kind of complex jog, just like we did before. Looks like I went a little too tall. So let's see if we can use our smart dimensions to drive this down. Looks good. Okay, so now for the arc. And before I, I'm, I need the arc now, but I'd like to bring this uh, steering wheel over further. So it's closer to like, I wanna bring this over a little bit. There we go. Looks fine. And now we need the arc. And the arc, Half of it should be on this side and the other half on this side. So I'm gonna rotate this plane and we'll sketch along that. 
and we'll put the plane, I'm going to change my camera angle so I can look straight at it. And I'll come over here and sketch the arc. Now for adding some sketch relationships or constraints. First, the points should line up with each other of the arc. So I'll select the points. Okay, so we've got this kind of in the midpoint. We'll make sure that's lined up before we're done. Make sure that this has the tangency that we care about. I'm going to sketch a construction rectangle to connect to. So I'm going to connect the and now we'll just select this arc and that point and try to connect those midpoint. Looks pretty good. Now we've got this crazy sketch going on. Looks like this got misaligned. Let's see if we can fix it with our constraints. That actually looks okay. Great. And then I'll add some fillets before we finish this off come back into our sketch, make sure that it looks like I forgot to fill it down at the corner. Meant to include that. All right, so we've got this sketch. Investigating this, this should be flat, this reference line. There we go, that's better. All right, so let's start the pipe command. So I'll do pipe, S for search, look for pipe. And then I come in and just start selecting kind of this one path. You want to hollow it out. Do you want it solid or hollowed? Be sure to check that. And now we'll do another pipe, Re right click, repeat. I'll do this pipe across. And I wish that it would remember the pipe from the previous selection, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So you can type that back in again. I'm going to do the whole thing, including the arc. We're joining. Hit OK. All right, so we've got pretty much the entire half built. I'm gonna come over and turn off the sketch, make it a little easier to see, and then let's mirror this. So S, search, and look for mirror. We're doing a feature or body mirror. And in this case, I'm gonna mirror this entire body across this plane. Remember, we're mirroring a total of this arc, so we need to make sure and check that, that that looks okay and isn't doubling up. And it looks great. And there we have our 3D tubing with Fusion 360. Hey, for more Fusion 360 videos, check out this playlist.